A West Price Hill grandmother is speaking out tonight for the first time since her baby granddaughter's murder. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is here with her emotional interview in a story you'll see only on Nine. Tom? Well, Clyde, it was January 14th when Brittany Humphreys was found dead in the crib of her Charlotte Street home in Middletown. At first, police said the 11-month-old baby choked on a hot dog. But after Butler County coroner's investigators dug deeper, they ruled it a death from a skull fracture, a homicide. Now the Humphreys family is anxious to know who is responsible. When Pat Humphreys stares at the photos of her granddaughter, Brittany, she's often overcome with emotion. She tries to recall the good times as the youngster came into this world. I was there when Brittany was born, and um, I, I held her in my arms, and I never saw her again after that. That was when um, she was about a week old, and we went to visit, and um, I was really proud to take a lot of pictures. A 911 call to Middletown Police on January 14th seeking help at this Charlotte Street home changed everything. Courtney Olson, Brittany's mother, was on the line. I need an ambulance. I uh, went in my daughter's room and she's dead. She threw up and choked on food. Police say two of Olson's two other children were in the house as well, along with her live-in boyfriend and his son. A friend called me and told me that she had passed away. I didn't hear it from anybody for two days that, that, that it happened and it's devastating to hear it from somebody that's not family. Then when Pat heard about the blunt force trauma and homicide ruling, she broke down. To think that somebody would hurt a baby to the point where it died and, and it touched me more because it's my own. Now Humphreys has lots of questions but very few answers. My heart breaks and I, I, I need to know why so I can bring closure to this. That's, that's all I can say is why. Why did it have to happen? She was too young. Humphreys also told me she feels someone else in the community knows what happened to Brittany and they should come forward to authorities. Butler County Prosecutor Mike Moser is reviewing the case to see if charges are warranted and if so, against whom? His spokesperson today, Clyde, told me there's nothing to release at this point. All right, Tom, thanks for that report.